Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to EU4. I'm your host, Kelvin. And today, well, today we finished invading Rakaa. And I think I'm hoping to just do some teching, really, more than anything. Like, a little bit of tech would not be amiss right now. We've fallen far behind in anything that isn't military. I mean, we need to be ready to get uh, to tech 12 when we can here, so... Eh, ignore them. We've never needed prestige in the first place, but it's fine. It's not like our legitimacy depends on it or anything. God. Oh well. It's the highest legitimacy I've, legitimacy I've ever had, so I'll take it. You know? Highest legitimacy I've ever had. <laughs> Spreading another culture, perhaps. Um, culturally speaking, we could just set up the Aramians to be uh, in this region. Egyptians have the be an accepted culture as well. I suppose that is actually an interesting alternative. Not everyone has to speak Greek, I suppose. And then again, maybe they do. Maybe they do. Form an alliance with Croatia, convert Kinnick to Hellenic. I mean, we'll get to that at some point. Yeah, it might be a while, though. Alright. Culture conversion, done. 271. Good. Alright. But for now, I mean, at the very least, we're going to eliminate the Thracians. Yeah. Well, the cost per individual thing is based on that, but what he says does is true. Uh, if you already have an accepted culture, uh, rather than just destroying said accepted culture, you could expand the said accepted culture instead. Yeah, that's just mostly based on the differences in the provincial development of a lot of them. Like, Kosovo was super cheap because 113. Blavdiv was super cheap because uh, that was before I upped that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, it happens. It's not really that big of a worry for me. We have hundreds of years for this. And, I mean, this is the most expensive time to be doing it at, so... Darn, our theologian died. We have some inflation, don't we? No, we don't. Support the Imperial Cult. Yeah. We could use the extra points. The Regency Council isn't particularly competent. Anyway. As we can see here, the cost here is 300. 20 per point de of development, which we can see is 7, 8, 15. Alright, so you got 15 development, and uh, it's modified by 100% from being class clear, and because the culture is adjacent, minus 25%. That's all. Not a big deal to worry about. <sighs> this missionary, though, is taking her sweet time. I suppose it doesn't really matter, though. Yeah. We'll be okay. We shall be okay. And apparently we can build glorious monuments in more than three provinces. Yeah, I suppose we can. Build those monuments there. Build a monument here. Good. The monuments do give plus one percent missionary strength, so we definitely have to try and hold on to that. In the meantime, how's Raka doing? They uh they've been holding on. They had a peasants war, they got invaded by me, and I haven't seen them in positive stability in a while. <laughs> uh oh well. It, everyone has the Roman Empire government type, so it's kinda rough for them.
Alright. But for now, we've been uh, pacified by our Regency Council, so I can't uh, I can really go out and attack them again. Six more years. Six more years. Like I said, it's probably for the best anyway. I need to tech up. I need to be prepared for uh, getting early ideas at 12. Religion, I think, is going to be rather quite important with the whole plus two tolerance of heathens. I mean, the first time ever we have highlight in this. I ain't worried in that. Ooh, conversion was successful. Actually, not gonna about the glorious monument there. Instead, we're gonna begin the conversion to Greek. The Thracian culture shall be removed. Cast cards attack and cast them on. We already established earlier that uh, faith comes before anything else, so. Uh, not a big deal. Faith before all. The Hellenics have been oddly united in crushing uh, any Hellenic and any uh, Christian incursion. So, that's okay. Okay. How much is this? Seven? Fucking Christ, this Middle Eastern tech group makes this stuff so expensive. This is, you know, then again, we do have, like, we have a focus on this and everything, but fucking Regency Council's got a zero. 253 ain't bad, though, so. It's something we can live with, hopefully. Come on, kid. Five more years. But yeah, with this, we can, uh, we can get our tolerance of Christians up to zero, which will be kind of handy if we want to survive the whole Christianization thing. I think it's going to be key. If if you uh, don't have tolerance of heathens of zero here, it's kind of rough. In fact, very rough. We'll just kind of have to, you know... As Sun Tzu says, bend with the wind or whatever or something. Don't try and resist it stiffly. This doesn't mean we have to convert to Christianity, but... Wouldn't hurt to uh, tolerate them. You know? Alright, and a little tolerance for this Moxless probably wouldn't hurt either, since they are northern, uh, northern neighbor for the time being, somehow. Interesting. Yeah, the Germanics have been kind of sort of spreading here. It's interesting. Although there's been practically no religious conversions. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe sometime around, uh, you know, Tech 12 we'll start seeing some. Maybe by Tech 12 we'll see a uh, United British Isles with the way the Highlands are taking things. Though they've been rather slow. Mm, we'll see. We shall see. Alright. 731. Come on. Alright, just two more months. Yay, to welcome in the year 270 decade. We will, uh, we will have slavery. Slave party, yay! What do I do? Slavery, a granary is a storehouse or room for a barn with threshold of grain and animal feed. The stored supply of food help us survive through the bad harvests. Uh, so, uh, the definition of slavery may have changed since the last time I checked. But, um, apparently slavery means a place that you store food. No, uh, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna say the nobles are in the right here. Alright. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, that's one interpretation of slavery. One of many, I'm sure. One of many. Any time we'll just get a dude here. So. Kenick. Bring it up here. 274. 
Okay, and our truces have expired. Not that we can do anything about that. Advancement of the merchant class. Monastir. 270. Okay, good. So, in a moment, we'll be able to convert Monastir. There we are. Excellent. Get to work. Yeah. Silly buggers. Now, on the topic of the technology. So we are five, five years away from uh, Admin Tech 11. And then add on another 40 years or so until we get access to Admin Tech 12. We're going to need to hold on for that much longer against the Christian, at the very least. And then we're going to have to kind of hope that we get, you know, good legitimacy monarchs at some point. Hello, Black Arrows. That would be kind of nice, huh? That would not be nice. Hey. And also, we seem to have managed to gather a... Ooh, turn over. Excellent. Another province is now Greek. Speaking of... Yeah, culture adjacent by C. Um, makes it equally cheap, yeah? Yeah. Alright, we have officially managed to uh, begin cornering and uh, corralling of the last of the Thracians. Which is most excellent. Most excellent. So, how are the Europeans doing? I'm really kind of ashamed that I ashamed ugh, ashamed of Iberia here. Fez, on the other hand, is doing hella good. I'm gonna watch out from the Lion of Africa there, right? Poor vintage. Oh no. Yeah. That was a bit of a problem, isn't it? So, you know, I've been thinking about what to do with all this money that I'm slowly accumulating. The problem is we're sort of, you know, up on our... F oh, wow, we aren't actually on our force limit anymore. Good news for us, guys. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good news. We get a whole other army. That's going to make uh, their fights against me a little bit trickier. Hmm. And I see Egypt is looking to annex uh, Negev. I'm okay with this. Any Hellenic looking to beat up Christians is fine by me. Good. So, everyone, welcome the third army. A lovely addition. Very good. So why don't you get any cavalry? Because we're Sparta. Tell me, in the movie 300, do you see any cavalry? No. The Spartans are not known for their cavalry. They're known for the brute strength of their men. We don't need no horses. Bah. You disappoint me, killer. And excellent, we finally have a new king. Um, yeah, I mean, we're going to keep it with Jupiter for now. I don't think we need to go full offensive here. Full, uh, full military. The minus one national unrest is helpful. Yeah. We are, we are Spartans. We do not use cavalry. I'm sure at some point I will, uh, will have to change that. But for now, we are strong and proud infantry based. Home Total War says different. Eh, that's highly possible. I don't know. Like, I don't actually know how all that much about Sparta. If the Spartans turned out to use cavalry, somebody correct me. <laughs> oh dear. Alright. Trade plus 12, not bad. Do your men also have slow montages? Of course. How do you think we're so awesome in combat? Hmm. 
All right. Well, I mean, Raka seems almost kind of stable. Almost. They have just above 50 legitimacy right now. Interesting. Well, I'd say uh, it's time we go. I mean, this car is allied to anyone else. They can't have more than one ally, can they? No. So in that case, no reason not to just call them in as co-belligerent. I did that wrong, didn't I? I may have done something very horribly wrong there. <laughs> and may or may not have totally targeted the wrong nation with that de declaration of war. Let's try that again. <laughs> oh, my attention lapsed for a moment and I didn't realize which country I had clicked on. My bad. Oh dear. Uh, it happens on occasion. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Let's see. Unfortunately, loading save games from uh, the extended timeline does take a little while. Either that or my games crashed, I can't tell which. Oh no, it did load, good. Alright. So, as I was saying before, this time let's click on the correct person, which automatically chooses my cost, believe for me, and let's declare war. This time without costing ourselves a fuckload of things, shall we? Well, so much for your fleet. Alright, well, you have, uh, give that and we've got back up nearby. Alright, uh, right, there's 1,000, okay. Go, go, go. Wow, they're losing fast. Damn. Yeah, grant the old. Apparently my advantages have been waning. Yep. How did we lose that? Icon all shenanigans. You all saw that combat track down there. Oh, I mean, you're pretty much the king of the top now. Well, this has been a rough day for us. I'll just leave. All right, reorganize and try again. But that was that. That was so a win. Come on. Christ. Bullshit game. Alright, start converting Kanak. Let's try this again. On a side note, convert the king into a general. Well, I mean, you're at least competent, so we'll take you. Generals might do some good. We have two generals. One of them is useless and he's just there for sieging purposes, but he's a general. Technically. Yeah. One. You have siege one. Around like that. Alright. Good. 
We're going to want to push down here and try and uh, force on their navy. Couple naval battles never hurt. Alright. Excellent. Continue our work. Okay, attacking. Oh dear. Well, that's important, isn't it? No, we might win or lose. It's hard to tell. The obvious thing there is I need to send to reinforcements. Good enough. All right. So Negev has been uh, taken down. I see. Good. One less Christian nation. And even their capital in Hama has fallen. As we spread across the countryside, just sort of taking all their land, I doubt they're going to have particularly much uh, ability to fight us any longer. Too much? Fine. Take most of it. The coastline, their capital. In reality. Yeah. Their capital was super expensive. No. We'll just take the Syrian zone. Or at least as much as we can. The riches of the clergy. And eh, we'll find the money elsewhere, I'm sure. It's not like we're sitting on, you know, oodles of gold or anything. Good. So we got reinforcements for when they inevitably pull that. It's not like we defeated them before with only two groups, so this third group is basically just our siege team. Yep, Sparta was uh, much like uh, the Greek city-states, they're all pretty advanced in amazing ways. That's concerning. I've noticed that it happened ever since I reloaded the game. <laughs> it may be wise when this episode ends that I should probably restart. Because I think the game is starting to break a little bit. Call it on. In the meantime, finish our push in Naraka. It won't take them long to uh, accept our peace offer when they find that they have absolutely no country left to fight with. It's probably already hurting them pretty bad. Hmm, of course. Yeah, buy us time. Actually, both of you buy us time. There's only two problems. I mean, the war exhaustion's already piling up on them pretty hard. You know. They still are not even willing to come close. Oh no, we're locked in fighting them there? Okay. That's fine. They blew their load pretty early with their reinforcements. So if I can hold on just a little longer... Now, on the meantime, we have rebels we apparently have to take care of now. It's become our problem. That's how the shit works. It's now just our problem. Alright. 
We have literally managed to occupy everything they own. The fact of the matter is they aren't getting any money. So they're taking out hell a lot of loans. Fine by me. Hell of a lot of loans. And they probably aren't able to reinforce their army particularly well either, so... Actually, that's fine. Three bolts and overextension. I'm just trying to think about, you know, the idea of a separate piece with cars. So I could take on a fair bit of overextension right now, and I have 26 to take on. That would be 104% too much. We'll probably just take one province off of them or something. That we have to actually occupy a port, apparently, but, uh... You know, that's fine. Damn, I actually lost. We should hold. Actually, we are running out of manpower, aren't we? It may be wise... For us to, uh... Consider a retreat. Or just ending this war now. Really? I mean, they seem to think they are winning somehow. Or otherwise haven't been literally and totally defeated. Hey, Cars, you want to walk away? Yeah. Fine. You get away from this one. Which gives us an auto 100. Meaning they can't deny me when I demand all of this. Most excellent. The Levant belongs to us now. A decent chunk of it, anyway. Oh man, yeah, that's a fair bit of, uh... How far away am I? 17 years. I don't think I can actually core any of this, can I? Probably not. I've discovered a flaw in my plan. A rather interesting one at that. I do not believe myself to actually be capable of coring any of this if I want to, on time, get my idea groups. That is concerning, to say the least. Oh well, go and suppress the rebels. Best you can. Hmm. That's good, we do get a little extra conversion strength. That will help. But yeah, so that's a bit of a problem. Famine. Tarabulis. And I'm not surprised we didn't sort of take that, didn't we? More recently. It's out here, isn't it? Tarabulis? Or is it not? Is that the home regions? Yeah, Tarabulis, there it is. So, of course, the second we take it, it's struck by a famine. No one's surprised. Hello? Uh, is it possible to gain cores in EU since I'm waiting? No. That used to be the case in EU3. That's how you got cores. You just have to kind of hold on to things for a while, but... Oh, we're apparently also now trading in cotton. I don't know what to that. Do I cap off today's episode? Future. Speaking. We now control 26% of the world's copper and 20% of the world's cotton. We're already the production leader of fish, and uh, we're gaining a fairly sizable upper hand on it. Not bad. Not bad at all, if I do so for myself. Well, production leader may or may not be us at negative 0.1%.
course, we're gonna have trouble competing. Uh, wow, we actually we nearly produce more naval supplies uh, than we owing. They produce twice as much grain as us. Hmm. The Chinese menace in the east. How the problematic they are. They're growing powerful. At any rate, as I said before, it's time to end today's episode. To a point where I can't even pull anything. Feels kind of rough. I'm not too worried about this. I mean, even without the cores, we'll actually be okay here. We will actually be okay. This is 2.62 national unrest. The unrest here is 3.5. That'll leave us below 1. In two years, there will be no national unrest in this province. It, I guess. And anywhere we have troops, that's already taken care of, so. Good. So once the war exhaustion and all that wears off and everything's fine again, we, uh, we'll be in good shape. Yeah, I agree. Our manpower reserves need to recover. I kind of wish that our, instead of saying manpower level is at least 90%, it would just straight up tell me how much that is. I think at that point that's, what, 3 37,000? Something like that. Would it be a stupid plan to lower autonomy since the revolt's already likely? Um, yes, and the reason for that... The reason for that is because of how long the uh, autonomy change lasts for. You'll notice this lasts for 30 years. A uh, recent revolt penalty only lasts for 10, or rather a recent revolt bonus only lasts for 10. So you're just screwing yourself in the 10 to 30 year run when you do that. Uh, I shouldn't say you're screwing yourself, but you're making a lot more revolts in the 10 to 30 year run. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. This has been your lovely, lovely host, Gilvin, signing off.